Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I'm going to show you a really cool new tool that's a part of the Titan platform and that is the Titan Sign Wizard. So let me just show you how this works. So the Titan Sign Wizard, you can install this on any contact, any record, anywhere in your Salesforce instance that you like. Here I have it as a button, but you can also have it as a tab here as well or really anywhere that you would like your end users to be able to access this really cool tool. So let's walk through this together. The first step is to add in a file and you're able to add it either from Salesforce or from your computer or both. You're able to merge documents using this tool. So let's just put in a uh, couple documents from Salesforce. You can see like I just typed in a letter and it was able to find all of these files with that name. So let's just um, I'll do this one and then you can also add another one so and it doesn't even have to be the same type of file so let me add in a word document so tiny sign yeah that's the one so this one's a word document and this one's a PDF and they're gonna be merged together and signed very easily you're also able to reorder them if you'd like just like that very easy drag and drop and then we can go next and we'll do the same exact thing where there are recipients, whether they're inside Salesforce or outside Salesforce, both. We don't care. We're able to send it and get it signed and bring it back to Salesforce for you. So let's start with just adding somebody from Salesforce, uh, maybe Joe. Perfect. And then we'll add another person and we'll do it externally. We'll add, send it to me. Page sign. Perfect. And I have access to both these emails, so we'll be able to see both of them through the signing process. Like the documents, you're able to reorder your signers. Very easy. Drag and drop. And you can click to make them have a different um, role in the signing process. So they don't have to just be a signer. They could also just be a reviewer or just be CC'd on the entire process and, and have a copy of, of this uh, document. So that's the next step. Then we're going to go next. And this is where it's configuring our document for us. So here is our document and we can see our recipients right here. We have two different recipients and then we're able to drag and drop some fields for them to interact with based on who we have selected. So the first one will have B and you can see look we merged those documents together very easily. This one was a PDF and this one up here was a um, a Word document and they're both going to be signed at the same time. So for Paige, let's give her an input field. Let's give her a signature field and give her a sign date. And all these fields are able to be uh, there would. Um, all these fields are able to be edited. Look at those similar uh, buttons right there. Style, settings, trash. Doesn't get any easier to understand that than, than that. <laughs> okay, so we have pages field set up and now let's do Joe's fields. So again, I'll just add an input uh, field for him, a signature field for him, and then a date field for him. Very easy. If you want to not have the date be the same date as like the signature date, you can have it be like a date field and they can enter it or whatever you'd like. But we usually like the signature date because it, will, it would immediately capture the date that they are viewing and signing the document. Okay, so now that we have all of our fields set up, we can then go down to the bottom, click next, and this is the settings for it. So let me run through these really quickly. Digital signatures are a step above um, e-signatures, e-signatures or what 99% of use cases use and digital signatures cost a little bit more money so you'll have to purchase those digital signatures but in most cases you will not need to use a digital signature for your use cases so but if you would like to you can purchase digital signatures and enable it here then the two-factor authorization this means that they'll get code sent to their email before they're able to sign the document um, a lot of people don't use that because they are already accessing their email when they receive the document, but if you want that special um, security, you can absolutely enable that. That's a great way to keep your documents secure. 
All right, parallel signing. This means that both my signers or all of my signers would get the email to sign it at the same time. So there's not, uh, typically it goes like one signer to the next and once somebody has finished signing it, then it gets sent to the next person. You can choose to have it be sent at the same time if we want. So let's check that out um, sometime else. Actually, no, we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, so you can turn that on if you want. And then notification settings. So what? when do you want to be notified that this has been signed? Do you want it for each person that signs it or only after it's completely finished? Personal choice. Now it's time to configure this email that's gonna be sent and what happens after it's signed. So right here, relate to record. This is where you want this file to be stored or related to. Um, when it comes back to Salesforce. So it automatically just grabs the contact that I'm on. So I'm on page signs record right now. And I could choose to just go ahead and let it be um, uploaded right here. Or I can change it if I want. Totally up to you. You can choose any object in Salesforce, any record in Salesforce, and the file will then be related to that. Then you can choose if you want to use a Salesforce email template. You absolutely can do that. Look at that, very easy. Or you can just make your own like so. Let me clear that, cool. And then you can choose whether it's gonna be your email address or a company email address if you have that enabled. And then you can customize the subject and um, description if you'd like or uh, email text. Once everything is done, you can click send and these documents will be sent off. So we have two emails now, or yeah. So I've been requested to sign a document. Hello, page sign. You've been requested to sign a document. That was 11 minutes ago, so it must be this one that's zero minutes ago. Okay, so now it's my turn to sign. I can put in my name and of course you could have named this input to be something specific all right finishing the sign and then let's see if titan has got his joe blogs he got his right here and it's time for him to sign it look how easy this is joe blogs he's gonna sign do you see how cool that is? It's able to automatically pick up his signature. Now we're done. And then let's go to our, where were we? Let's go to page, oh, here we are. Okay, so let me refresh the page and we should see a new file that's been uploaded to the files here. Here we go. We both have a Titan sign tracking log and the Word doc. There we go, we can see all the times that were signed and who signed it and IP addresses too. And then we also get a copy of the finished document as well. All merged very, very nicely. Like, look how cool that is. That's an old sign, sorry about that. I used like a already signed template. Okay, so now I wanna show you what happens, how you can um, track those signatures. You're gonna of course look for like the, um, objects here, but if you go to view all on your apps and then go to form Titan, now we can look at our Titan signed documents and we'll be able to see the ones that were recently signed. Um, go with this one. Here it is. So this is the one that I just sent out and you can see the related um, tracking, Titan sign trackings between it being sent, viewed, completed, viewed, viewed, completed. Um, then you can also see the attachment here, the same exact document and you can even see who it was related to. So we click here, we're able to see the um, details of it, who who the email was, who, who received it. 
yeah, very cool stuff. And of course, you can also see the analytics of it too. So everything that's in progress or completed, you have a really nice dashboard automatically added to your uh, Salesforce instance. So yeah, really, really cool stuff that came with this latest release, including the Titan Sign Wizard and all of the Titan Sign analytics and tracking. So thank you for watching this video, and I really hope that it helps. I'm really excited to see how you all use the new Titan Sign Wizard with your teams and users.